I'm Elvira Guzman. I'm an author, speaker, publicist, and talk show host. I've owned a publicity company for 10 years after starting my career working for Steve Harvey as a radio and television producer. I've worked on TV and films with celebrities like Halle Berry, Forrest Whitaker, Terrence J, Amber Rose, Mike Epps. I've done concerts for Ice Cube, The Game, Music Soul Child. I've worked on books for Shirley Strawberry, Troy Byer, and I've done philanthropy projects with Hollywood's heroes like Danny Trejo. Throughout my career, all of the projects I've done have had one common thread. They all help people find their way. Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Elvira, and I'm very excited to be here with you today. Today's topic is, when you help others, God helps you. Many of you might be thinking you have nothing to give, but the reality is we all have something to give. It could be something as small as a smile, it could be a compliment, it could be a nice text message, or it could be an encouraging email to someone that you know that's having a hard time. The reality is all of us are struggling to make it and we think that we're not able to help others during that time. But the key to get what we need is to give what we need. So if we need love, give love. If you need money, give money. Or if you need opportunities, then give an opportunity. A lot of people think that you have to be perfect in order to help others, but that's not true. I have tons of flaws, yet I'm still able to help others because I was able to get up when most people were to stay down. So what I would like to encourage you to do if you're feeling that way is think back in your life to what hurts you the most and Think of the lessons that you learned so that way when you encounter someone who is going through exactly what you went through, you're able to help them get up quicker than you got up. Now, there's many different ways that you're able to give back. And so uh, I wrote down in my book, uh, uh, Purpose, Awaken, and Succeed, that there's always someone that's worse off than us. So for example, if you're needing $10,000 to buy your first house, what I would suggest is if there's someone that you know that needs a meal, or if they need um, you know, a new outfit for a job opportunity, then to help them out. The one thing I know for sure is that God is always watching. So in chapter 12 in my book, I write a few suggestions that I hope that you guys will write down and that you guys start to reflect on them so that way you learn to give back. So here they are. So I hope you have a pen and paper. So there are five points. Number one is, are you helping at least one person a day? If not, what can you do to change that? Two, many give to the church a percentage of their salary and others start a foundation. How are you helping others with what God has blessed you with? Three, Helping others could take could be taking an hour out of your day to mentor someone. Be open to mentorship because that's one of the biggest and best ways that you could help another person if you don't have the financial means. Four, simply saying a prayer to, uh, for someone that you see walking down the street that may be hurting or that you could tell they're having a rough time is definitely a good way to give back. And finally, giving someone who is down a compliment. I know many times I've gone to a restaurant and I know that the waitress is not having such a great time and I purposely try and find something about them that I want to tell them, oh, I really like your shirt or your hair looks so nice or I love your dress because I know just that little bit of encouragement and positivity is going to go a long way. And so I hope that uh, with these tips, you're able and you're encouraged to start giving back. Okay, so you guys know I like to start the show with a prayer so we can have good vibes. So if you guys know it, say it with me. Holy Spirit, illuminate my heart so that I could see the things that are of God. God, enter into my soul because my body belongs only to you. Sanctify everything that I think, hear, and say so that everything could be for your purpose. Amen. All right, so I'm really excited for our first guest. She's going to be sitting here when we come back. I met her 12 years ago when I was working for Steve Harvey, and I was living in New York City. And she came in, and not only did she transform Steve's body physically, but her energy helped him get through a really tough time in his life. And I'm really excited for her to be here and share her story. So up next, we have Dawn Strozier. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after these messages.